Hello, welcome to yet another video on Power BI. In this video, we're going to discover how do you connect your data with Power BI. So to demonstrate that, let's go to Power BI. This is a Power BI desktop. And to connect with the data, we have these options. We can use the get data or we can use this Excel workbook connection option and there are a few other. So let's stick to this one, get data, and we can connect to various data sources over here. The few more, if I click on more, I get more options to connect with other data types. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about connecting with Excel, uh, text or CSV file and Google Sheets. So for that, I already have two data sets on my system. So I have these two data sets. These are uh, dummy India population data, which has district wise data. And one of them is saved as a comma separated value and the other one is just a plain simple excel file if i use my uh, this excel workbook get data option if i try to select this and then connect with this data so you see in in my folder i get this option because this is the excel file which is in this uh, folder though, though this folder also has csv file but i only see the excel files in this browsing window. If I open it, it will connect to the data, it will show some prompts and then we get this window which is a navigator window and then if I, uh, because I have Excel workbook which has multiple sheets, if I select the specific sheet, in this case I'm just using a Excel file with sheet 1 only, so I get a view of my data. Likewise, I can also connect with a CSV file, so I go to text and CSV and this time it is showing the CSV file in the folder. So I can click on this file and like the previous case, it will again show me the data. This time though it's a CSV file, so it has few more options, which says what kind of file origin is there, delimiter and data type detection. I can again load this data and get this data in my system. So for the de uh, demonstration purpose, I'll use this data only and I'll load this data. Once the data is loaded, a uh, few things happen in the backend. Let's have a quick view at that. So in the, in the data view, this tab, your data would be visible over here, right? And you can have a look at this. In the model view, if you click here, the data with the corresponding columns would be visible like this. So let's go back to our data view and we'll just see that everything is fine, everything looks okay. And then we can proceed to the report view to start creating a visualization. You will note that in this data uh, section over here, I have my columns available here. And these columns are ready to be used in our data visualization. And finally, uh, if you want to correct, connect to a Google Sheet, what you do is you go to Get Data and then you go to More. And then once you see the options, and over here you type or look for Google Sheets, click on Google Sheet, connect, you'll get an option. It's a third party service. You can either say don't warn me again for this connector or you can just continue. And then you need to put the URL of the Google Sheet which you want to connect. So for this demo, I have this Google Sheet on my system uh, which I've already shared here. And you can change the option to uh, to share this link and uh, with anyone, right? And then you copy this link and paste the link here. When you say OK, so, so you will get the connection to this sheet. You select this sheet, you get a preview of this sheet and you can load from here. So this way you can also connect your data to a Google Sheet. So that's how you connect your data to uh, an Excel, CSV or a Google Sheet. So this was a quick video on how to connect with the most used uh, data types, the Excel sheet, a CSV file and a Google Sheet for a basic data import. There are a few other data, data types with, or data 
uh, storage types uh, to which you can connect uh, which uh, we are skipping for time being and if you like our video uh, please subscribe to our channel and do like and share uh, our channel thank you so much this is manu from climatrix labs